Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when the game is not launching on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now if you're using Windows security, now this has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So open Windows settings. Now, once you open Windows settings, go to privacy and security. If you have Windows 11, if you have Windows 10, click on update and security and then go to Windows security and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Now click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app. Now click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed. So if the game is installed in C drive, open C drive, program file 686, open the Steam folder and then open the Steam apps folder, open the common folder, open the game folder and then select this exe file and then click on open. Now type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel. And then go to system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings at, at the top click on allow another app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again select the game exe file click on open and then click on add in my case the game is already added now once the game is added now you can launch the game and that should work this has worked for many players so it might work for you now it's still not working the next step is to turn off backup for documents folder in OneDrive. So if you're using OneDrive, open OneDrive. So you will find OneDrive somewhere over here. Uh, you can just make a right click on OneDrive. This is just an example. I'm, I'm not using OneDrive. So if you use OneDrive, you can make a right click and then you can go to OneDrive settings. Now, once you go to settings, uh, in OneDrive settings, you will see sync and backup. Here you can see documents folder. If this is on, turn this off and then check. This has worked, also worked for many players, so it might work for you. So try this. Next step is to close OneDrive. So if you see OneDrive over here, you can just make a right click on OneDrive and then close OneDrive and then launch the game. Next step is to delete the content of Ace folder. So you can go to File Explorer and then go to Documents folder. And over here, you can see Ace folder. You can just open this. If you want to create a backup, so you can do one thing you just create a backup you can copy this folder and you can paste it to the desktop once you have a backup now you can open this ace and delete this ace folder all the saved settings and the save game files may be lost so you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch so if you agree you can delete the content over here you can just make a right click select everything and then make a right click and then delete it and then launch the game or you can simply go back and delete this ace folder and once this is deleted now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to create new windows local account so if nothing is working uh, you can try this uh, like you can go to windows settings and then go to accounts and then uh, you can just uh, create a new user account click on add a, add an account and then and then i don't have this person sign information we, uh, we will create a local account so click on i don't have this person sign in information and then add a user without a microsoft account and then you can name it whatever you want so and you can create a password whatever you want and answer the security questions this is just an example now once you create a new admin account uh, create an account you can you have to click on it and then click on change account type and then you can from standard you can select administrator hit ok and then log in to this account so you can log out and if you see your account over here if you don't see it just uh, you can restart your computer or just log out and then log in to this new account and once you log in then log in turn off OneDrive so if you have OneDrive in new account turn off OneDrive close OneDrive and then reinstall the game you can open Steam 
or reinstall Steam and then reinstall the game and then check. This has also worked for many players, so it, it might work for you. Next step is to install Visual C++ file. Now for this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website, install this Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19, and 22. Install this x86, click on it, and then install this x64. So run this exe file. If you see repair, click on repair. If you see install button, click on install, click on yes to allow. Download this x64 file as well. Again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, click on install and then click on yes to allow and let the installation complete. Make sure both the installation are complete. Once this is complete, restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. Restart your computer and then you can launch the game. Next step is to clear download cache in Steam. So go to Steam, click on Steam over here. Go to settings, go to downloads and over here you can see clear cache, click on clear cache and then click on confirm and then you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to make sure if you are using VR headset, like if you are using uh, launching the game in VR mode, make sure VR headset is connected and then check. Next step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game. If that does not work, run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select manage, now click on browse local files. Now over here you can see the game exe file. Make a right click on the game exe file and then select properties, go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game from here and then check if that does not work, go to properties once again and this time put a check over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. If that does not work, select Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working, put a check on disable full screen automation, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. So when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, then in that case you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply, click on OK, and then launch the uh, follow the next step. Now the next step is to verify the game files. Now for this you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, now you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to perform clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have Nvidia card, go to Nvidia website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for Nvidia. So to perform a clean installation, go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10 and then click on find. And once you click on find, you will see this page. Now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver. Now click on view. And then once you click on view, you will see the download option. Click on download and let the download complete. Now once the download is complete, run the exe file. Now once you run the exe file, you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here. By default express would be selected. Select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen. Now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete. Once the installation is complete, restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphic settings in Windows search box and then go to graphic settings and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, so go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder and then select the game exe file and then click on open once the game is added over here so once you have the game added over here click on the game and over here you can see gpu preference click on it and then select high performance over here and then launch the game and then check next step is to update windows to the latest version this is important so go to windows update or update in security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to disconnect all the USB adapter which you're not using. So if you have any USB adapter connected which you're not using, disconnect it. Disconnect additional controller. Sometimes we have extra controller connected, disconnect it. Disconnect multiple monitor. Try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any third party services or application running, close it. Disable Steam overlay. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, and then go to 
general option and then turn off this enable the stream overlay while in game and then you can launch the game next step is to also if you have any other overlay application like discord running you can go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have G nvidia app or geforce experience running turn off overlay so close or you can simply close all the overlay application and then launch the game also close all the overclocking application like if you have a msi afterburner revert unor or any kind of overclocking application running close it perform clean boot now for this you can type in system configuration in windows search box and then go to system configuration go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services and then click on disable all make sure that, that you put a check on hide all microsoft services first and then click on disable all hit apply click on ok you will see a restart option restart your computer and then launch the game also if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 4915152 one now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to update the system bios so go to your system manufacturer website and then update the bios and uh, during the bios update uh, make sure uh, AC adapter is connected to the computer and during the BIOS update your system will restart and then let the BIOS update complete. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Next step is to, you can skip this step if you're not able to launch the game, but if you're able to launch the game, you can switch to window mode and then lower down resolution. So like if everything is set to like 4K, your resolution is set to 4K, you can try it. 1920 into 1080p you can even lower down more so try to lower down your video settings and then check 
Next, the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, manage, uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder, restart your computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run, run the game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.